Meet Scott Parker. He has an exciting job. We're not being fired, are we? No, you're not being fired. Far from it. Rats. He has a way with women. I think you should see other people. You look different when I'm sober. I've been called back up to the mothership. His friends try to help. You should ask her out. What? You should ask her out. She likes you. What are you talking about? It's obvious, Scott. I, look, I know these things about women, I can tell, and she digs you. Would you like to know why? Well, yeah. OK. It's real simple. It's fear of sexual inadequacy, Scott. Sexual inadequacy. No, 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 just a second, baby. It's not that. It's a fear of it. And then he meets Fiona Cerny. You're that naked girl. <laughs> yes, but I'm not naked now. His life will never be the same. She's beautiful. She's educated. Okay, so really, I only went to six schools in seven years if you don't count Pepperdine twice. She's romantic. First kiss. Billy McMartin. <laughs> I was in second grade. And he kissed me on the merry-go-round at recess. And then he threw up. She knows people. You want to go to a great party, baby? Uh, Munchkin Dave and the Barnacle Twins are back in town. Got their strong little shindig for them. Guaranteed no cops. Munchkin Dave? Yeah. I don't think so. She's got secrets. I'm a murderer. <sighs> you love Fiona. Do you really mean it? I mean... Do you really love me? Yes, we love Fiona. I'm Get back talking to now. Life with Fiona. They're singing. T H O G M A R T I N. There's dancing. There's death defying stunts. Life with Fiona. Coming soon. So goddamn wrong.